Good evening, I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. One of the most historic buildings in Santa Barbara found a way to plug into the modern energy grid. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. John, the Libero Theater is now tapping into the sun. And they are very much charged up here at the Libero Theater. And when you come to the Libero to see shows inside or outside, you won't see much of a difference. But this historic building is capturing sunlight and saving on energy. Even with years of powerful performances on stage, Santa Barbara's iconic Libero Theater has found another form of power, and it's coming from the rooftop. Uh, it just made perfect sense to put solar panels up there and actually contribute to some of the, the energy needs of Santa Barbara. We climbed up and down four levels on ladders and past construction dating back to 1873 to see the newest modern era installation. For this historic building, it's a concealed spot that's not visible to the public and where it directly captures the sun. We get most of the day, we're shadowed by the stage house over here uh, in, the, in the late afternoon. Uh, but most of the day, it's, it's just exactly right. So it works very well for that. This flat surface on top of the Libero Theater is perfect to absorb all the sunlight with more than 100 panels and feed it right into the grid. <laughs> This is not a new power system directly for the theater. The solar energy goes to Edison, and the company gives the theater a power discount back. The power we generate here goes into the grid like all power from any generating station, and then we draw from that, uh, from that well of power as we need it. So we, we're not generating power for us to use. The theater staff and board of directors has been committed to a sustainable operation in many ways and where possible has changed out some of the lights while respecting the historic appearance. The issue there really is being able to dim, uh, dim the lights you know, properly and smoothly, and as technology increases, uh, we'll definitely be changing those out as well. The solar power system was paid for largely through donations, and that shows the connectivity between supporters and the 150-year-old building. It is always something that's uh, expanding and growing and keeping up with the latest technology is a challenge. We are a part of this Santa Barbara community that is very conscious of uh, uh, energy usage and sustainability, so we're just another piece of that chain here. And all of this comes at just the right time. This is the month when the Libero will celebrate its 150th anniversary. There will be a sold out Jack Johnson show on February the 21st, followed by a night of a reception for the Libero. That'll be the next night, February 22nd. That's the official birthday or anniversary date here at the Libero. But we're told throughout the year, there will be many, many special guests and some surprise performances that will truly make this a memorable year here at the historic libero theater reporting live in downtown santa barbara i'm news channel reporter john palmentary all right always a fantastic venue thank you john folks in slow county are receiving more storm disaster relief the county is teaming up with a nonprofit called 